The CrossFit Games are next week. What? <laughs> next week. Oh, okay. I feel like since the last CrossFit Games, it's been like no time at all. And this year, it's gonna look a little different. The top spot is now open for the females, with Tia Claire Toomey having her baby this year. And some notable names that we won't be seeing for various reasons is Hayley Adams, Mal O'Brien, Brooke Wells, and on the male side, Guy, Ricky Garrard, and a very emotional one, I'm sure, for a lot of you, Rich Froning. It'll be like the first CrossFit Games he hasn't done since it before it started. He was at the CrossFit Games before the CrossFit Games even existed. That's not true at all. But it kind of feels like it, you know? But anyway, it feels like it's time to get hyped. Whoa. Because over the past week, we've had some announcements of workouts yeah. and some other bits. So smash that like button, stay tuned, and uh, no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. I'm Craig Ritchie, and this is the news. Let's start off with the workouts. First one to be announced last week by the CrossFit Games on their Instagram was Helen, a benchmark CrossFit workout. But in the description, it did say a variation of Helen. So basically they're telling you the workout, but not really at all. Now we have seen Helen done before at the CrossFit Games back in 2010. They are getting up to the starting line, but this is a 1200 meter run just to kick things off. Which the version being done then was a pyramid double Helen into shoulder to overhead. With the workout being a 1,200 meter run, 63 kettlebell swings, 36 pull-ups, 800 meter run, 42 kettlebell swings, 21 pull-ups, 400 meter run, 21 kettlebell swings, 12 pull-ups. And if you look closely, you'll see a rogue Annie Thoris daughter there. And she actually set the fastest time in that with a time of 17.53. And then looking at the males, you, can, you will see a young Rich Froning there. But uh, the winner and the fastest time set by a male that year was 16.59, it was Graham Holberg. If I was an athlete, I'd definitely be taking a look at that workout and giving it a go because I feel like, you know, a repeat, but of 13 years ago. It's just a cool idea. And I reckon the times would be absolutely astronomically different. So astronomically different, the athletes afterwards would need space. Moving on. After the announcement of Helen, we got this diagram on Instagram. Basically, CrossFit in the middle, made up of part monostructural, part weightlifting, part gymnastics. And throughout the week, a workout got released in each one of these categories. Starting off with the monostructural one, a 5K trail run. Cross country, cross country run. Cross country just reminds me of school. Come on, Robert, you can do it. And speaking of that, the barbell spin actually found the possible location of which it may be held. Obviously it could be around the Coliseum and kind of surrounding area, which is more than likely, but if it's gonna be held off site, it could be held at the Zimmer Championship course, which hosts numerous cross country events and um, could be quite like good specific cross country running. Now Chris Hinshaw said uh, in the comments that the 5K is the, the best test for this monostructural part with a comment saying that running the 5,000 meter distance is a true test of overall athletic fitness. It requires a unique combination of physiological factors such as aerobic capacity, lactate threshold, running economy, and physiological factors like motivation and perceived exertion. To put it simply, uh, it's a very hard run, both physically and mentally. And that will be the seventh test that the athletes will face, and that will be on the Saturday at some point. I'm gonna say morning, so my assumption is there'll be six events before the first cut, covering Thursday and Friday. We then got this released, which made me like, yeah, I was like, yeah, damn, that's gonna be so cool. Test nine, so two tests after, again on Saturday, we will have an Olympic weightlifting total. 
in some shape or form. It could be that they all kind of do it one by one on a platform in the Coliseum. It could be a run through like we've seen before. Whatever it's gonna be, I feel like we're gonna get some, like it's gonna be. I did love the sandbag last year. I thought it was really fun to watch, but when you watch people with a barbell, especially because everyone in the community knows what a snatch and a clean and jerk feels like, there's always real hype moments and I can't wait for it. Brian Friend from Be Friendly Fitness on Instagram, he does a lot of statistics, go follow him. Did put out an article though, of the top Olympic totals that could be cut before this. Obviously with it being event nine and on Saturday, 10 athletes will be cut before that event. And if we went solely off the worldwide rankings of the people that have qualified, Big Bron, Trap Daddy, Jake Douglas, and Arthur Semenonov, who when I put my poll out on Instagram, who do you think is gonna win this event with the majority of the responses, would not make it through to that Saturday. Also, one of the big responses that I got on the male side was Jason Hopper who this week, on a side note, hit a 500 pound back squat. That is big. That is a big, big back squat. And uh, then proceeded to load his bar like this. Who does that? Don't lie. <laughs> it's the lazy loading. Uh, I do that a lot sometimes too, you know, when you're just like, you know what, I ain't taking these plates on and off again. On the female side, if we look at the rankings too, we could be losing Paige Semenza, Kelly Baker, and Michelle Bazinet, who again, all have big totals. And then just like that, the guesses started coming in. What was the gymnastics event gonna be? 30 ring muscle-ups for time? I saw that thrown around uh, everywhere. Was it gonna be these things that Jason Hopper was attempting? You just never know. And what we got, the post that we got said gymnastic skills. And in that circle, we got gymnastic skills test. And what we got with it was videos of a handstand walk ramp done by Danielle Brandon, like the obstacle course sort of thing, and the parallel bars by Patrick Vellner. But what we didn't get was any sort of workout. So really, it couldn't mean anything, apart from probably not on the rings. Come on, give us something. Let us know. The actual caption that they put was, individual athletes competing at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games will compete a gymnastic skills test. Full details will be released during games week. Basically, we already knew that. You just gave us an Instagram post. Boring. Teasing us. You're nutty nutty, you're teasing me. Why is he being cheeky? And then this week, the other only major bit of news was that Ant Haynes is going to his second CrossFit Games. He got called up and got the invite and shared it on Instagram two weeks out from the event, meaning that someone who was ahead of him, because it was only the top two that qualified from Asia, will not be going. That's either Arthur Semenonov or Mor Mortiza Cigar. I don't know why the leaderboard was messed up when I went on it, but that's what it looked like. So maybe it's Mortiza Cigar. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. You know, like obviously the athletes now peaking. They're making their way over to Madison or at least to America, you know, to be on the right time zone. And the work is done. So really, kind of the next big thing is the games. <laughs> so anyway, team, that's where we're gonna end today's episode. Thank you, Whoop, for sponsoring. If you want a free Whoop and a free month, click the link down below, win-win. Honestly, it's the best wearable for me for performance. Head over to hustlemade.com if you wanna buy some of the stickers clothes in the game. It really does support and help Jazz and I make these videos, do our travels, and if you go into Madison, Wisconsin, and you go into the CrossFit Games, and you see us, and you want a photo, or you want anything, please just come say hey. Because uh, one of my favorite things is when we go places and people just shout legends, and then, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just views on the computer anymore, or on my screen, it's like real life people that are part of this amazing community. So I can't wait to see you all, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. No one told you today, you're absolute legend. Bye. Also, I might have to have surgery tomorrow morning, so. Might have to delay the trip to the CrossFit Games. Uh, I managed to stab my hand with a knife whilst cooking and I have hit the nerve that is going to this finger and I can't feel it. Brilliant. Typical me, man.